the Blue Jays took a commanding 2-0 series lead with their second shutout of the season, a 7-0 win last night against the White Sox, and improved to 15-9 on the season. And it was a complete team performance, with Jose Barrios being undoubtedly the biggest headline out of the game. His line was 7 innings pitched, 4 hits, 0 earned runs, and 9 Ks. Oh, and only 1 walk. It was easily his best performance of his season, and he looked dominant out of the gate, striking out the first batter, Luis Robert, on three pitches, and then striking out the side. He even managed to touch 97 in that first inning. Yes, I know his ERA is still not impressive at 4.71, but he's looked far better than last season, and there's no denying that. And in his last two starts, he's gotten a total of 14 innings pitched and only allowed one walk in each game. And part of his success is due to him inducing far more ground balls than last year sitting at 50% through his first five starts compared to 40.7% just last year. And when you're getting more ground balls, that means less balls are taking flight, and another area Brio struggled in last year was how many home runs he allowed. But so far this season, he's allowed just the one in 28 and two-thirds innings pitched. This start from Barrios also continues the recent trend of pitching dominance from the Toronto Blue Jays rotation. In the last six starts, the Jays rotation has lost 46 and two-thirds innings pitched while only allowing five earned runs. That's a .96 ERA. Of course, six starts is a short sample size, but given how this rotation struggled at the beginning of the season, it's nice to see them regroup. Last night, we also had the privilege to welcome back Nate Pearson, and in his lone inning of work, he reached triple digits in his fastball velocity. But what was a little concerning to see was the way he hit Elvis Andrews. 98 miles per hour, supposed to be middle away, and instead he plunked him in the shoulder. Another important note from his outing was how many pitches it took to retire the side, that being 22 pitches. It's always been an issue for Pearson, not finishing batters and allowing a lot of foul balls, hence the high pitch count. But for a first outing back in the bigs, he showed that he can regroup and calm himself by retiring the next three guys that came out to the plate. His command has always been an issue for him and it's definitely the biggest thing to look out when watching him for the rest of the season. The offense from yesterday's game came primarily from the 8 and 9 hitters Danny Jansen and Kevin Kiermaier, who drove in 6 runs, Kiermaier with a 2 run triple and Jano who had his first multi home run game of the season. He now has 12 RBIs in 15 games and his bat is really starting to get hot. On April 19th, he was hitting .094 had a 194 OBP, a .094 slugging for an OPS of 288. And since that, he's raised it all the way up to 205 average, 286 OBP, 432 slugging, and 718 OPS following last night's game. This is huge for the Jays because they have not had much production from the 7, 8, and 9 spots this season. If they can start to get the bottom of the lineup rolling, then the front of the lineup guys like Springer, Bo, and Vlad will have much more opportunities to bat with runners on. The Jays are taking on the White Sox again tonight, hoping to get their first series sweep of the season, and improve to 16-9 with Yusei Kikuchi getting the start against Michael Kopech. And of course, if you enjoy content like this, then make sure to subscribe. I'll be posting all season long, and you will surely not want to miss out. Thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you all in the next video.